part of the game and part of the manipulation for them to pretend like they are just so unlucky. Big facts. When it comes to narcissists, especially covert narcissists, there are no bigger victims. No one is unluckier. As a matter of fact, if you're in an abusive relationship with a covert narcissist, you will notice that they seem to be going from one tragedy to the next constantly. But it's a trick. It's a manipulation. Oftentimes what's happening to them is really not that terrible. They're just reacting terribly to it and manipulating other people to feel bad for them. Which makes the abuser the victim. And how can you be an abuser if you're a victim? I remember way back when I was with a narcissist I was dating, we were having a conversation with a friend of mine who had just lost her house in a flood. Now mind you, this woman is married, has two children, and now has to live in her mother's basement with her family. As she's telling us what she's going through, rather than offering empathy to our friend, the narcissist I was dating at the time starts telling her how hard of a time she's having with all the work we have to do on our home. I was baffled. This just goes to show the level of self-centeredness and victimhood in a narcissist's mind is unimaginable. Allow me to leave you guys with one piece of advice. We're all grown adults. Do not allow another person, even your partner's personal problems become your personal problems. Helping your partner with any issues that they have is fine, but understand you must have boundaries. Not allowing someone to deal with the issues that they have in their lives is not doing them a favor. Follow me for more info. This is the War Against Narcissism, guys. Salute.